Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mike and Tony Show. This week on the Mike and Tony Show, we got Al Leone and Kenny Simmons from the group Chemistry, Dr. Johnson from Product Development, and that wild cowboy man, Mr. Tombstone Jack. Now, let's turn it over to the man who claims he never called Hillary Clinton a witch, Mr. Mike Tedesco. I'll tell you what happened to Tony. We got Tombstone Jack here tonight, and he comes on a horse to get here. Tony, who is a crazy person for horses and dogs, gets on the horse. Last I seen Tony, he's heading down Bergen Line Avenue. I uh, hope he comes back, because Tombstone Jack ain't gonna stay here till tomorrow morning. Although he might just do that if we wait any longer. But in any case, we also got uh, with us tonight, we got Kenny Simmons and Al Leon from the, uh, I'll get it. <laughs> so don't push me. Don't push you. Tell me though. <laughs> it's a group chemistry. From the group chemistry, right. and they're going to be performing for us right here tonight, and I can't wait. So uh, we're going to go right to them. So take it away, Kenny and Al. Yeah. I'm going to take my time and let you know exactly how I want to make you feel. This little love song we hope you like, it's called I Lose Control. Talking about love tonight, y'all. I thought I was getting to you, but you were getting to me, girl. I never knew love could feel this way. Stop thinking about the nights that we spent together. So much passion, it steals my breath away. Say, girl, the minute that your lips meet mine, becomes a breakdown. Ah, 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 ah. I check it out. For you, I've been waiting all of my life. You're just like a dream. Dream that came true. All my friends keep telling me you gotta take it real slow, girl. If they only knew the love I feel for you. There's a part of me that's deep inside of you. I can't help myself. There's nothing I can do. I'm giving you my heart and my soul. Check it out. Don't make me lose it, baby. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, girl. There's 
a part of me that's deep inside of you. I can't help myself. There's nothing I can do. Be a part of the Mike and Tony Show. For free tickets, write the Mike and Tony Show, 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, New Jersey, 07093. Now back to our show. Thank you. Thank you. We're uh, we're here with uh, Kenny and Al. And they're here to talk about this uh, this play here that uh, they were in. Stages of awareness. Stages of awareness. Nothing else matters. Now this is uh, this was just over, right? Yeah, we right. just finished uh, a run on um, uh, Broadway in Soho area, off off Broadway, <laughs> and um, we're going to be uh, trying to open up probably the early part of uh, January or February. Which so we're going to be we're going to be looking for this to come out again. Yes. Oh yeah. But the soundtrack is going to be out very soon. And uh, I'm coming to this one. Oh yes, definitely. 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 That, but you got to uh, bring Annie. Definitely All bring right. Annie. Uh, you guys, <laughs> you guys are really great. I don't know. Uh, Al wasn't working too hard. No, no, he was. Hey, uh, yeah, he, he was. Uh, <laughs> he was working hard. But uh, you guys are great. Now, how long you been together, and what's going on? Well, what's we've been together 11 years. 11 as years. As we started as songwriting partners, and eventually developed the production company, and it grew into this. And uh, what did you do before uh, you met Al? Uh, I was in a group, a little small group called the Commodores. You know, <laughs> We heard of the Commodores. We, we heard of the Commodores, that's right. And uh, so you're going to do this again. Yes. So we're going to be looking for this, and uh, the soundtrack is going to be out when? Uh, we're looking for like early part of spring. And you're going to be doing this back in the same place in Manhattan? Yeah, we're going to have all our friends, Eddie Mawentes and you, and everybody come down and help and hang out with us. And you bet. And come see it and have a good time. It's about change, and that's what it's about. And how, how many people are in it? It's just uh, it's about eight of us. Eight, eight of, of us. It's the group chemistry. It's a, it's a musical. Do they sing as good as you sing? No. And you play? <laughs> <laughs> now, you, no. No. We got actors, we got singers, oh, you, dancers, you got the whole we bit, huh? You know, yes. my uh, my producer is driving me crazy. He said, "Would you get him to please sing two uh, two lines from uh, Night Shifts?" Oh, you mean Jackie? Where are you doing now? <laughs> That's two lines. <laughs> oh, okay. You happy now? Now we're happy. 
Okay, anything else you want to say before we... Uh, uh, we'd like to thank everybody for um, for listening to us. Are you kidding? It's our pleasure. Anytime. Okay, I'd like to thank Eddie for inviting us down. Now, we hope to meet you again. Listen, you come back down just before this goes. Thank you. So that we can Absolutely. put the right time, the right the right date and everything, and maybe bring some of the others with you so we can see if they're any good, too. <laughs> okay, Ladies great. and gentlemen, Thanks for having thank you. Yes. Thanks to these guys. Thank you. Thank you. When your employees train with the National Guard and Reserve, they learn to be better team players, better decision makers, and better leaders. It's training that makes them better at serving our country, and better when they come back to work for you. Bill's back. Be a hero. Give your employees the freedom to protect ours. Drive home safe. Remember to strap yourselves in with your safety belts. You don't want to end up like Eddie. <laughs> Belt up. Don't be a dummy. Be a part of the Mike and Tony Show. For free tickets, write the Mike and Tony Show, 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, New Jersey, 07093. Now back to our show. Welcome back to the Mike and Tony Show. We have uh, we have Dr. Johnson who has who usually works in product development, and this Johnson. in this instance he's worked on a, uh, a movie for us. Uh, Dr. Johnson, come on out here. Johnson. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell us what you got? Uh... Okay, I got Mike and Tony the movie. Okay, hold Starting it up there. So right. here, put it here so he can get a good shot at that. Hold on. Uh, Ed, can you pick that up really close? Now, this is a full-length motion picture. Full-length motion picture. And how long is this? Uh, an hour and a half? I think almost two hours. Almost two hours. Right. Now, the price for this is, minutes. is $99.99, but it's worth every uh, penny of it because this is from, this is what? This is from right from the birth, right? Right. Uh, me and Tony are both identical twins, even though we were... We were born, well, we were born, I was born on September 19th, he was born on September 27th. Uh, that's not that uncommon nowadays. The strange thing is, I was born in 62, and he was born in 61. So there was a, a whole year and a few days delay. But nevertheless, we are identical twins. And in this movie, in this movie, Mike and Tony, the full length motion picture, you're gonna find all about Tony, myself, through the the childhood, the years in school, where and when we went to college, how we got to be successful in the uh, movie and television industry, and then how we went on to own a famous restaurant. And that's all in here, is it not, John? Everything is in here except for the famous restaurant. Everything that's in here is in here, and we're going to be right back uh, after these words. Thank you very much, Thank Dr. John. Thank you very much. Thank you. Part of the Mike and Tony Show. For free tickets, write the Mike and Tony Show, 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, New Jersey, 07093. Now back to our show. Uh, why do I bother? Why do I bother? I'm, I'm going to move out here to New Jersey. Look what I have going on in New York. Mad bombers. High taxes. Let me tell you, you know what my taxes go to? I pay to, I'll I'm going to tell you where they go to. What these taxes go to, they go to the police department. And, and this is what the police department do. They, they buy makeup and clothing and they dress up as hookers and go out on FDR Drive find, trying to pick up Johns. This is where our money is going to. I, I, it makes me sick. I mean, these people who pick up transvestite hookers, they're, they're just wacky and kinky. They're, they're, they're not stupid. I'm going to tell you a way how you could tell the difference between a real transvestite hooker and, and some, some cop who dresses up as one. First of all, transvestites, real ones, they look like women, they dress like women, they even talk like women, right? 
They wear shoes like women. They have women's names. But one thing, here's the difference. This will help you every time. This is the difference. They don't smell like women. Women have a certain smell. These, these transvestites, once you get that smell of, of cheap perfume and Limburger, you got to run. If I saw one of these cops dressed up a, a, as a transvestite, I, I, I would run and hide. They look like they're getting ready for Halloween. Well, well, we have a guest here in the studio. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time, even though I like to talk. We have a guy here from Texas. He is a mountain man, a hillbilly. A real He-Man macho guy, Marlboro man, ladies and gentlemen, Tombstone Jack. Let's bring him out. Come on out, out here, Tombstone. I don't know, Mr. Stern. I'm awful nervous. I don't know if I should come out here or not. Look at that. He, I think he dropped a load in his pants. Come on out of here, Tombstone. Don't be afraid. Come on. We want to know more about you. You're getting more famous by the minute. Oh, you mean on account of being in jail? Well, what, what, the hell, uh, what the hell were you doing in jail? Oh, I wasn't supposed to talk about that. I forgot. Tell, tell me, did a big guy named Bubba try to make you his little puppy? Uh, no, I can't, can't talk about well, it. Oh, come on, come on. You could talk about it. Come on, what happened? Well, I'll be danged. <laughs> danged. I'll be danged. I'm just walking down the street, and I see this pretty girl, and I say, Excuse me, miss, but I'm new in town. I was just wondering if I could buy you a drink. Next thing I know, they cuff me, take me away in a police car, I don't know what the hell was going on. Uh, I got news for you, Tombstone. That was no lady. No? no? Then you just hear what I said. That was no lady. Sorry. Well, what was it then? Well, Tombstone, let me put it this way. Have you ever made anybody squeal like a pig? Squeal like a what? Like a pig. Like a pig. Squeal like a pig, Tombstone. Ah, uh, well, not that I can remember, well, no. Well, well, come on, you're from the mountains, you're a cowboy, you must have done it sometime in your life. Uh, have you ever dated one of your relatives? Your sister, uh, maybe? No, nah, no. Nah. Well, come on, Tombstone, you have to tell us something here. Uh, well, uh, tell us a little about your background. Well, I come from Haywire, Texas, and I got most of my schooling out in California picking grapes and oranges. Pick it. And uh, I come here uh, looking for some work. By the way, if there's anybody out there in the audience who get me some work picking, and I'd really appreciate it. Uh, do you do noses? Noses? Uh, well, no, mostly grapefruits and oranges and peaches and apples and things like that. Most any kind of fruit. Yeah, well, I want you to go try New York. There's plenty of fruit there to pick. So how long have you been here anyway? <laughs> oh, well, a couple months. Uh, just come over here looking for some work. Oh, yes. And what do you think of this fine cesspool of a city? Well, it has been an education, I'll say that. Ah, uh, yes, I see. How's that? Well, I mean, like just... Coming over here today, uh, they had another one of them panics down underneath in the subway. Oh, really? Something like a stampede. Uh, somebody on the, uh, on the train hollered out, here's a vacant seat. Of course, everybody went running for that seat, got, nearly got trampled to death. I had enough sense, though, not to go for that seat, because I've seen that kind of thing happen here before. Uh -huh. That's what I mean by keeping your eyes and ears open. You well, kinda, you look like an intelligent buck. Yeah, you learn what not to do in the city here to survive. Ah, I see. Just like, like the other week there. Last week, they had another one of them hourly shootouts they have in the public streets here. A bunch of innocent bystanders got all shot uh -huh. up. Nah, now, you see, this is why we need to bring the death penalty back. We fry them with a pound of bacon on their laps. Don't they have, they have that in Texas, don't they? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, you stand around here long enough in New York City and be innocent. Uh -huh. Somebody's going to shoot you. I mean, not that there's that many innocent people here in New York City. Well, the whole city is just uh, going down the toilet. Well, sure enough, seems that way, as far as I can see. I mean, the police, they don't even have to aim their pistols no more. They just shoot up the street. Bang, bang, bang. They get somebody. They know they got the right one. All right, Tomb, so let's calm down here. This is not a roadhouse. Well, I mean, it's getting to the point here where where now these days, like, if they catch you shooting somebody, they just, what they do is they write you up a ticket. And they say, uh -huh. they say, look, please come on down to the courthouse on Monday morning at 10 a.m. And I hear yeah. tell that there's more of them damn tickets that don't come back than there are parking tickets that don't get paid. All right, all right. Too, I so mean, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's coming to a point. It's, it's just, it's totally incomprehensible. All right, let, let, let's bring this to a close now. Uh, you're a cowboy. You're, you're a singing cowboy. Why don't you sing us a little ditty here? Oh, you like me to do maybe Hank? No, 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 no Hank. I want to hear Tombstone. I want to hear pure, unadulterated Tombstone. You're an original. Give us an original song already. Oh, uh, one of my originals. Yes. Uh, you mean like maybe, uh, well, I do have one dedicated to my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, do you uh, have big cans? Uh, real nice, yeah. Uh, Ah, okay. Real nice. Why don't you sing that one? What's it uh, called? Well, it's called 
You're in the junkyard of my heart. Well, that figures. Ladies and gentlemen, Tombstone Jack, junkyard of my heart. to the Mike and Tony Show. We're here with Tombstone Jack, and his real name is Jason. Jason Heller, thank you. And uh, we have Ray. Rosato. Ray Rosato here. Rosato. That's what I said, Rosato. <laughs> and uh, these guys are a part of a big group that plays in Manhattan. Uh, how many in your group? We got eight uh, players right now. Yeah. And, and girls, too. Oh, lots oh, of girls. Oh, we got two real nice girls. Two oh, real yeah. nice girls and about eight guys. And if they all sing <laughs> like, uh, they all sing like this fellow here, Jason, then they must have a great show over there. Well, thank you. We hope so. Now, how long you have uh, been doing this? Well, this show we've been doing for about two months now, right, uh, Ray? Right. You started at the Actors Institute in August. That's right. We, we tried it out there in August, and we got a real positive positive response and so uh, I was kind of inspired to move on and we opened at the duplex and then we've taken it around town and so we're keeping pretty busy. Uh, standing room only, right? Yes, yeah, because there's no chairs in the place. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to, uh, you're going to try to get a couple of dates out here in Jersey? You're going to come over this yeah. way too? Yeah, we we're looking so. around here. We'd love to get some work out You want to play in way. your basement? Yeah. Hey, well listen, a lot of people play in our basement. It's yeah. uh, some are locked up down there. But if you don't mind my aunt down there with you, that'd be fine. Wow. Well, uh, sure. So what are some of the other songs you sing? It's all, it's basically... Well, I've got another original one uh, called uh, House Husband Blues. And uh, Whiskey River is one that I do. And then uh, the girls, they do uh, Boots Are Made For Walking. It's a classic song. And what are some of the other ones we got? Blueberry, there? Blueberry Hill. Hill. Blueberry Hill. And uh, Fry Me Some Liver. Fry Me Some Liver. Sung to the tune of Cry Me A River. <laughs> no kidding. Get it? It's yeah. a joke. <laughs> you, you used to do a lot of comedy in the show? Well, I, I, do, I do most of the comedy. Um, um, he, uh, Tombstone, comes into New York and he meets Howard Stern, as you saw, <clears throat> and he also meets two shell game players. Yeah, I get conned on the street, lose my yeah. stake. So, <laughs> so, Ex-con player out there. Yeah, really. <laughs> so I, I, wasn't in, I wasn't in the original uh, production that was first at the Institute. I came in later because Jason wanted to uh, expand the idea of it and he wanted someone to throw in a little, throw some curves to Tombstone, and that was my job. You, you sure did that. You yeah. sure did that well. But you guys are also actors too, both of you. That's yeah. right. Yeah, we, uh, 
you, we do things. In fact, today I did uh, something for New York Undercover. I've been up since five o'clock this morning, but walking along the river. You won't see him because he's under the covers. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, and those people don't know it. It's like four o'clock in the morning now. So yeah. we're up a long time here. And uh, you, you've done uh, what? Well, uh, you'll see me as a prisoner in Kiss of Death. It's the the remake uh, of the film Kiss of Death with uh, David Caruso is in a new one. So if you see a guy with red hair running around in a movie called Kiss of Death, look look at me. You'll see me in prison. <laughs> <laughs> but don't blink because you might miss me. And uh, Jason, you've been uh, you've been in the Orient. Uh... I lived in Japan for a number of years. I, I did uh, films over there. I did uh, Japanese TV series over there called Toei Natsu no He. Means he long could, ago summertime. You could chop this bar right in half. Yeah, I, I did get into the martial arts a little bit really? as well. And uh, yeah, I had a nice time. I liked it over there in Japan. It was quite an experience. Now, uh, can you, uh, John? Can you get his guitar for him? Can you give us another song here? What, what's that song that you that you like him to uh, sing? House Husband Blues. House Husband, House Blues. Husband Blues. <clears throat> uh, okay, uh, Mark will get it there. Yeah, John's yeah. sleeping all there. Can you get Shh. it? We got sure. it, John. Yeah, got the okay. Yeah, Just do it right here as is? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. See, get a little bit of room so I can strum it here. Ah, I'll give it a try. I'll, I'll do a couple of verses. All right. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'd love to have my blues guitar player with me here. That'd be great if he were here to back me up a little bit in the harmonica, but... The strap's in the way, Jason. Okay, That's here we go. Here. All right, one of the skits that we do, I play uh, uh, as Tombstone. He can't really make it in the city, but his girlfriend has him take care of the house, and then she goes out and makes all the money. All right. And so he sings this very sad song. Uh, here we go. My little baby used to treat me so nice And then we shacked up Now she's cold out yeah, she treats me like a dog. Bow, wow, 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 wow. Make me clean the house. Bad news, I got the house husband blue. So damn disgusting, gotta do all the dust. Mop up the floor. Oh, what a bore. Yeah, she treats me like a dog. Bow, wow, 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 wow. wow. The bad news, I got the house husband blue. I gotta get a job, but I'm allergic to work. Every time I do it, hurts, hurts, hurts. Yeah, I'd rather be a dog. Wow, 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 wow. So I'll clean the house. The bad news, I got the house husband blue. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. That's about all the time we have for this evening. So, you know, wait a minute. Tony went out on that horse uh, from, from Tombstone Jack. Is, is Tony back yet? Tony. Tony, come on out here. Tony! Tony! You know, yeah. Yeah, that, you know, that horse. Riding horses is not like motorcycles, and uh, I guess that's why. Okay, well, we got to go. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. See you same time next week. Hey, how's your butt there? Oh, wow, that's kind of hot. Oh, man. Thanks for watching the Mike and Tony Show. For free tickets to our show, just write the Mike and Tony Show, 6701 Bergen Line Avenue, West New York, New Jersey, 07093. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you once again next week on the Mike and Tony Show.